So now we were talking about how this experience has been like for you, and you saw the increase in attention from the case as it progressed. What do you? What did you make of that? It was again. It was a surprise. We knew when the court made the decision to have cameras in the courtroom that it would engender a lot of interest, but. It just, as he said, it seemed to build more and more, and we had to keep focused, obviously, on our mission and trying to win the case. I'm sure you've seen Elaine Brederhoff's comments after the verdict saying that the jury was tainted by the publicity, that there was suppressed evidence. What's your reaction to that? I was really disappointed to hear that because she's a very good lawyer, very um, experienced, and it seemed to cast aspersions on the jurors' integrity because, as you know, they took a, an oath not to watch social media and there's no reason to believe that they didn't. So to hear such a baseless claim was disappointing. And what about the idea of suppressed evidence? That was absurd. I mean, as you know, there are rules of evidence and both sides had evidence that were, it was excluded for proper evidentiary reasons. And I'm sure you've also seen that before you came on the, to do some interviews today, uh, Amber Heard's representative came forward and said this was unprofessional, it's a victory lap. I want to give you the opportunity to respond to that. Yeah, again, I mean, this is kind of a case of a pot calling a kettle black because Ms. Bredehoff went on some of the morning shows the day after the verdict to put her spin on it. So if she has a problem with that, then she should look in the mirror.